Though Wu potions don't treat diseases, they at least cure their users' burnt-out self-esteem, providing them with the nobility of free-thinking personhood, a kind of ready-made identity similar to what therapy speaks disorders provide. Shout out to all the misfits, people going against the grain, quitting their job, moving somewhere on their own going all in on conspiracies, being totally unhinged, withstanding family judgment. The world moves forward because of weirdos, not the normies. And it's true that Wu potions are mostly harmless, if only because they lack the active ingredients that could affect the body positively or negatively. This is called an analemia. So what this will do, inside this stick is something called mother water. It takes a year to make this. I travel with this, this so this thing doesn't break. Okay. So you can either use it to stir a glass of water for about 30 seconds, okay. or you can stir this entire pitcher. And what it'll do, in about 30 seconds, is it will restructure the water. But once again, there's a perverse incentive here for those who are the most desperate. People with a pathological need for attention or resistance to authority will take the truly poisonous versions of Wu potions or use ineffective potions to treat actual diseases like cancer. Once someone's invested enough of their identity in being known as a Wu person with unbreakable faith in their own healing process, their only option is to double down on their dosage of colloidal silver or admit defeat. Burnout or death becomes inevitable. Wu's most ideologically consistent immortality potions are those that come from within the body itself by ingesting your own human waste in the form of sun-aged urine, menstrual blood, or semen. This is aged urine. This is about six months. It's got that nice brown tint to it. And then of course, oof, gnarly. It smells like ammonia. The research that I've shown is it's good for parasites. It's good for your gut microbiome. So of course we can drink a little bit and see what happens. There's no example of self-actualization more literal than turning yourself into a perpetual motion machine by drinking your own pee, finally free from needing an expert's help ever again. The pee drinker becomes the patient, doctor, and pharmacist all in one. It's a perfect libertarian loop.